Kiri C. Even though Moran's eye is by far the most commonly used spatial autocorrelation statistic, it makes sense to spend a little bit of time on Geary C because it represents a different perspective. Moran's eye is all about similarity through the cross product. Geary C, in contrast, is focused on dissimilarity, the difference between two adjoining locations. So it uses the square difference as a measure of dissimilarity which is similar but not identical to the notion used in a variogram in geostatistics, which we'll explore in a few weeks. The value of Geary C is very unlike a correlation statistic. It goes between 0 and 2. The mean is 1. Values less than 1 imply positive spatial autocorrelation. Values larger than 1 imply negative spatial autocorrelation. This makes sense if you think of it as being a measure of dissimilarity. So <clears throat> the less dissimilar, the more similar, the more positive autocorrelation. So a small value of the statistic is more alike. Larger value is more dissimilar, is more different. Formally, Geary's statistic is similar in, in shape to Moran's eye with the difference of using the squared difference uh, in the numerator. And because it's square differences, we don't have to worry about taking the means out because they're taken out automatically by the differentiation. So the numerator, you can think of as the sum of the square differences for the neighbors and scaled by um, the number of non-zero elements. This 2 is, is a little different from Moran's eye. It's a scaling factor. And then the denominator is actually the unbiased estimate of the variance. In the Moran's eye, recall, you divide the sum of the square deviations by n, by the number of observations, which is a consistent estimate. Here in Geary C, we divide by n minus 1, which is an unbiased estimate, obviously. For large data sets, this is not going to make any difference. <clears throat> so the interpretation of Geary C, as I mentioned, is uh, a little bit counterintuitive, but not if you think of it a little bit more. Um, positive spatial autocorrelation is a Geary C coefficient less than 1, or a Z value that is negative. Negative spatial autocorrelation is a Geary C value that's larger than 1, or a z-value that's positive. So it's the opposite of Moran's eye. And as I mentioned, the reason it is the opposite is because it is focused on dissimilarity rather than similarity. Inference operates in the same way as for Moran's eye. We have uh, different um, approaches, analytical ones, approximations using the assumption of normality or randomization, and then a computational approach based on permutation. The expressions for the moments under the null are quite a bit more complicated than for Moran's eye, and we won't go there. Uh, the readings, especially the Cliff and Ord reading, details this uh, from a more technical point of view. So then in our example, if we use the same house prices and we use the same weights as for Moran's eye, we see that all these Geary C statistics are less than 1. So they all point to positive spatial autocorrelation, which is what we also found uh, with Moran's eye. The means are all 1. They do not vary with the weights. They are always constant. The variances are fairly complex expressions under randomizations. They depend on the weights, and they depend on the random variable under consideration. The z values are obtained in the same way. Uh, just like the c being less than 1, all the z values are negative, pointing to positive spatial autocorrelation. So that's a little bewildering, but it's good to keep in mind um, in case you want to use Geary C. There is really no good reason to use it, but it's there, and in some applications the focus on dissimilarity is more appropriate. Then finally, just to uh, 
emphasize again how it's the reverse of Moran's eye. Taking the permutation approach, we have 999 permutations and the in reference distribution is in blue, but this time the red line is to the left of the reference distribution because the value that we observe of Geary C for the queen weights case is 0 0.716, which is less than 1, which is the mean. Notice how the mean, the empirical mean, is not quite 1, but very close, 0 0.998. And so the z value, again, is negative, uh, pointing to positive spatial autocorrelation. So the main purpose of this brief discussion is to make you aware that there are many, many spatial autocorrelation statistics. There's also one based on absolute differences. There are several based on measures of similarity, like cosine similarity. The most commonly used is Moran's eye.